Look, I think um, first half was, was was even enough. I thought we had enough of the play, we had enough of the chances. Um, you know, we considered a bad goal, but you know, there was nothing there that I thought we couldn't overcome. But second half, after we conceded the second one, uh, just didn't really reach the levels of intensity and, and sort of tempo we've had all year. And, um, you know, then it was very, very hard for us to get any sort of control or traction in the game. <coughs> it seemed like we were chasing the whole time and, you know, disappointing night for us. Why do you think they weren't able to harness the momentum of last week? I don't think that, again, I, I don't buy into that sort of stuff. You know, every game is a different challenge, you know. It's not about, it's not like you got, you start this game a goal up just because you won last week. I think if you fall into that trap of thinking that what you did last week is going to help you this week, it just doesn't work that way. I just thought, and to be fair to the players, it's the first time this year I've felt, especially in the second half, we just, you know, we're in the position we are because every week we've been really, really competitive in every aspect of the game. And, um, you know, even in our losses, I've, I've always felt like, <coughs> you know, we hit certain markers in, in terms of, like I said, our endeavour and competitiveness, and I thought it was missing today in the second half, and that was disappointing. And just the first game in the Premier League that your team hasn't scored, what do you think that was? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, look, we had enough chances to score, so I don't think that's that's the issue. But I don't think that's the issue for us. It wasn't about um, you know scoring. You know, we could have scored today. It doesn't really. It's really meaningless. It's more about, like I said, the other things that are really important that have been important for us all year because irrespective of our performance fluctuation, our competitive levels and you know, our ability to you know, stay in games and be really strong in our conviction um, has been there all the time. And this was the first game probably, you know, like I said, in the second half where I just felt it wasn't there today. And you know, that, was, that was a disappointing thing for us in that you know, if, we, if we don't hit those levels, it's then very hard for us to do all the other things we, we, we've been good at. And Brandon Drug is in his first start. What did you think of this? I don't think it's a game to talk about sort of individuals because I think, you know, whether it's Radu's first game or uh, Sonny's five, it doesn't really matter. It, what matters is, like I said, there's a group we just didn't reach the levels that we we need to um, to to compete. So, you know, for us, um, there's obviously a lesson in that. It's part of our growth. You've got to feel, you know, all these things I keep saying are, are kind of, they're not first, but things you have to go through if you want to get growth and it's how you react to them and you know, that's our challenge now. Do you have a sense of why, I know it's so soon with the game, but why maybe there wasn't the intensity there that you said is normally within the season? Uh, it's, like I said, it's, you know, it's, it's not something that's um, been there before, so you kind of need to just sit back and analyse it. I'm sure we'll play, get plenty of evidence as to why and um, plenty of things to, to kind of look at. Ultimately, um, like I said, whatever recourse we have now is too late for today's game. And what's the message to the players after a game like that? No different to any other game. It's about, you know, like I said, for us, it's about continual growth, continual development, and, um, <coughs> you know, that's never just a straight line. You, 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 you're going to cop hits along the way, and we've copped one today, and we've just got to make sure that we bounce back stronger than ever. <coughs> Is it, is it worrying? What's that? Is it worrying today that you didn't hit those levels you have been and you've dropped off? Well, no, it's not worrying. It's disappointing, as I said. It would be worrying if it was the fifth game in a row we did that. So it's disappointing and we need to analyse it. So that's where, you know, that's where we're at. All these things you, you've got to try and treat in, um, in isolation to make sure that you don't fall into the trap of, you know, one way or another, whether that's positive or negative. Um, going down rabbit holes that, that don't exist. Do you think this is a good time to have the, the break now, given this result? Would you rather, would you rather play uh, straight away, or would you be glad to have the people you don't time off? <laughs> um, no, no. I mean, I, I don't know how to answer that question. It's international break. We know that whether you win or lose, it's an international break. You, there's nothing you can do about it. It's kind of... You, you take it. The players will go away now, focus on the national teams, and we'll get them back sort of you know, a few days before the, the next game. And, and uh, when we get them back, we'll kind of you know, um, put to bed this analysis and then look, look forward from there. And in the respects of um, what the old Spurs might have been accused of, 
i.e. something in their grasp of it for place the opportunity to go forth, haven't taken it. Is that un an unfair accusation to level at your team? No, you can level any accusation you want. I mean, I, look, I get it and I'm, I'm happy for people to run that sort of commentary because it just doesn't, it's meaningless to me. I, I don't see fourth as a prize. This club's finished fourth before, it's finished second before. So you can throw all sorts of things at it. It's reached a Champions League final. You can throw all sorts of things at it, but this club has achieved things. So fourth is not my end goal. I don't want to finish fourth if we haven't grown as a team and developed as a team. And no one believes me, that's fine, because I think they, you know, part of the narrative is to try and push you into these kind of positions where you think that fourth is some kind of achievement that you, gives you something for next year. It doesn't give you anything unless... Fourth would be great if I feel like we're, we're growing as a team and we've created something that's going to bring us success next year. But fourth is not our goal. It hasn't been. It's not my goal. It certainly isn't my goal. But, you know, I get it from, from the outside, and particularly in the Premier League, that it seems like, you know, people push you into that position where you need to succeed or fail just on an outcome. I just don't think that's how you get success. Success is built on, I think, more tangible stuff. If we finish fifth, and I think we've got a team to challenge next year, I won't be disappointed. Okay, thank you.